Recently, we were on the road on the uh, New York State Thruway, and all of a sudden we saw this truck, this box truck delivery type uh, truck that was like nothing I'd ever seen before. It said, enjoy army brand canned meat, and it had uh, military images on it, and it just was pretty fascinating. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my camera out in time to get a picture of it. Uh, I did find this one photo online on Flickr, and it seems to be the only image I could find of this thing, and it seemed like a little bit of a mystery. So when we got back, I, I was researching it, and I looked it up, and the company responsible for this army brand is Square Enterprises. So I contacted them, and they actually sent me a sample of some of their products. Of course, what I was most interested in was the army brand stuff that I saw on the truck. It was canned meats, and they apparently come in a camouflage can and have some interesting names. It just seemed fascinating to me. And so here's a little information about the company from its website and from the email that I got from the person I was in contact with. Square Enterprises prides itself on importing and distributing premium quality Polish products. Founded in 1989, today Square Enterprises distributes European products throughout the United States. Part of the reason I contacted them was I didn't recall ever seeing the Army brand cans anywhere. But it does turn out that we do have a Russian ethnic shop very close to us. And I did take a trip there and they, they did indeed have one of the uh, Army brand products. So I was kind of happy to see that. But I did contact them thinking that I had no way of getting a hold of any of this stuff. And the canned meat isn't the only thing that they have. They offer juices, canned meat, canned fish, cheese, dairy products, spices, frozen products, vacuum packed meats, uh, snacks like cookies, biscuits, wafers, and candies, and a whole range of jarred products including cucumbers, sauerkraut, beets, beans, mustards, jams, and many more. And the top brands in the U.S. are Krauss, Pulaski, Square, and of course, Army Brand. So I was expecting to get a couple of cans of Army Brand canned meat, and instead this box came. I don't know if, I mean... See, this isn't really a small box, and uh, as you notice when I first uh, started the video, it's not light either. In fact, it's 15 pounds of food. Obviously, some of that's going to be the cans and the packaging too, but this is uh, 15 pounds, so I'm thinking this is going to be kind of a fun thing to uh, open up and check out. So why don't we go ahead and open it up and check it out. this thing off here. Pretty good. Alrighty, what do we have in here? Maybe some packing peanuts. You can see cross right away. Alright, hopefully we're gonna have some like canned meats in addition to wow. And some cross biscuits with chocolate, green apple. I'm going to get the whole biscuit brand, I guess, is a uh, rose hip biscuits. And the orange. And three of these. And the bag of something. This is also Krauss. is a uh, gingerbread with fruit filling and chocolate. Interesting combination of tastes. Uh, and here we go with some cans. Oh, first, a couple of jars here. Krauss horseradish. More Krauss oh, mustard horseradish. And let's see what we get for the cans down here. Alright, I see some camouflage. Good. There's some of the Square brand pork. Pork pate tomato flavor. Tomato flavor pork pate. Interesting. My guess, uh, my best guess, I've never had anything like this. My best guess is something like a uh, spam. Take a closer look at these though. Another square one, stuffed cabbage rolls with pork and tomato sauce. Wow, this is some interesting stuff. Saving what I'm anticipating being the best for last. Oh, is square hunter's pork stew. So it's pork stew designed for hunters. Sure, anybody can eat it though. It's like the army stuff. I'm sure it doesn't. You don't have to be in the army to eat it. What do we have here? More square, canned Polish kiska, or kiska. I do not know what that is. Look like some kind of sausages. 
Ah, uh, ingredients. Pork head meat. Pork skins. Pork blood. Pork liver. Buckwheat groats. Barley groats. This is... <laughs> oh, and then some pork meat, too. And pork fat. Wow. This is, uh... Very interesting. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Looks like some sort of sausages. We got more coming. Squares pork and gherkin rolls, also in tomato sauce. I don't know if it's gherkin is in like a gherkin pickle. Pork meat, gherkins, no cucumbers, yeah. Interesting. Have to try out some of this stuff. Putting down here. There's still more stuff in there. It's a lot of stuff. There's some square cured pork loaf, water, and binder product. I mean, it, to me, it's basically a spam, but this sounds a little more appetizing cured pork loaf rather than cured pork loaf water and binder product. I don't know, just me. There's another thing, of course, product of Poland. Here's another square one. No, it's just plain old pork pate. I don't have to get into all that tomato stuff and everything. So I wonder the difference between a pork pate and a cured pork loaf. So we're gonna have to find out. All right, I think we're. Oh no, some more. Wow. Oh, if you're gonna have all this pork, you have to have some square beans, and of course the beans have pork and bacon. I don't know how to use it compared to standard U.S. type pork and beans, but runner bean. Hmm. I don't know, I just find that funny. Luncheon loaf. And once again, I mean, to me, this is spam. Pork luncheon loaf. They seem to have a lot of different products that, to me, basically seem like uh, some version of spam. Hmm. And I don't have any problem with that. I'm not a spam hater. All right, now we're going to get to the last ones. One thing I did want to mention, too, is that this company... Uh, is not uh, somebody who does mail order. Uh, I don't think you can order from their website. They're basically, they're an importer and a distributor of this stuff. They distribute it to stores, which then sell it. So I wouldn't contact them looking to get it. If, if you're interested in any of this stuff, I wouldn't look into um, going to the site to order anything from them. But... <laughs> All right, I get it. Oh my god. This is... Uh, okay, this is the one I'm most familiar with, because I did see it at the store, and I've seen it, and I've actually seen reviews of it online. I haven't really seen anything on uh, YouTube, though. Hopefully this will be the first time they're getting exposure on YouTube. This is Square's Army brand. Chopped pork patty loaf. Once again, to me, that seems like it's going to be some version of a spam-like product. Pork meat, pork skin, salt, dried onion, lard, ground paprika, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. 38% of your daily sodium intake. And it's a... Uh, three serving sizes, so if you ate this whole can, you'd be pretty much uh, topping out your sodium. A good amount of fat, 50%. Wow. But anyway, like I was saying, to me this is, without opening it yet, it's probably going to be like a, uh, a spam type product. So it seems like they have a lot of those kind of things. But isn't, I mean, isn't this awesome? It's It comes in a camouflage can, and it's army brand. These aren't, they don't claim to be, you know, military food, but it's army brand chopped pork patty loaf. It's not a pork loaf. It's not a chopped pork loaf. It's a chopped pork patty loaf. That's great. And they do have, get a little bit more specific, instead of just for the entire army, his army brand's officer's pork loaf. Does it have a little bit less ingredients in this one? A little simpler, I guess. Paprika pimento. Huh. But once again, you get the camouflage can, 
And not only is it army brand, but it's for officers. I don't know where they came up with this uh, this idea, but it's it's great. This game makes noise too. Let me squeeze it. I guess, is that the sound of the pork? Huh. Yeah, now we're down to our last one. I think this is the last thing that's in here. So we have the officer's food. And we have the general soldier's food. And so we also have, the for the NCOs, we have Army Brand's Sergeant's Pork Pate. So the officer gets a pork loaf, and the sergeants get pate. Like I said, this was basically the main thing I was interested in trying out. But uh, let's take a quick look at all the stuff that they sent along. All right, and there it is. Look at all that stuff. We get the biscuits with chocolate, rose hip, green apple, and orange flavor. We have our. Gingerbread with fruit filling and chocolate. In chocolate. Oh yeah, wrapped in chocolate, I guess. Our two horseradish, the regular and the mustard. And then all our canned stuff. The wonderful army brand. Three cans of that. And we also have the pork pate tomato flavor. Pork and gherkin rolls and tomato sauce. Cured pork loaf, water, and binder product. Luncheon loaf, pork pate. For a little change of pace, we have beans. Which of course includes pork and bacon. Stuffed cabbage rolls with pork and tomato sauce. Polish kiska or kiska. And pork stew. Hunter's pork stew, sorry. So thanks a lot to Square Enterprises. And uh, I know we're going to do a review on some of this Army brand stuff. And uh, I hope to get to some of the other things too. This is a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff to consider. I just wanted to mention one more thing pretty quick. Uh, this is obviously just a sampling of the products that Square Enterprises has. You know, we didn't see uh, a lot of the jarred products. We didn't see the juices or the cheese or dairy products or spices or frozen products. A lot of food products, but when I was emptying out the box, trying to empty out some of the, the peanuts here, I had this little extra piece of cardboard in the bottom of the packing. And it looks like they go even beyond food. Is a nature line of um, cosmetics. So it uh, looks like they not only go way beyond what they sent me food-wise, they go beyond that product-wise. And offer all kinds of Polish products.